Hi friends, we're back on the campus of Eastern Kentucky University and I'm here with my friend, Dr. Christine Carucci. She is a bassoonist and she is going to show you today and play for you the wonderful instrument of the bassoon. Thank you, Dr. Carucci, for coming and being with us today. We so appreciate it. Hi everyone, thanks for having me here today to talk to you about the bassoon. The bassoon is a member of the woodwind family and as you can see, like some of your other instruments from the, the woodwind family, it is actually made of wood. Um, this is maple wood, um, just like the kind of tree that makes maple syrup. So um, I'm going to put it together for you. It's quite a big instrument. This is the bottom. It's called the boot. And what's interesting about this is it's actually got two holes. And that's because at the bottom of this, there is a round tube, which is actually called the U-tube. <laughs> and that connects the two sides. And next, I'll put in the wing joint. This is one of the smaller joints. And then the long joint, which is the longest piece. So you can see my instrument's getting bigger and bigger, but we're not done yet. So big now, I've got to actually put it down on the ground, put the rest of it together. This is the bell, um, similar to some of the other instruments you may have seen, and it goes on the very top. And then I have a vocal, which is just a piece of metal that attaches here. Um, what is interesting about the bassoon is that it has lots and lots of keys. In fact, it's the only instrument that uses both thumbs, uh, only woodwind instrument, and all together my two thumbs have to play 13 different keys. So that's a lot for, for my two little thumbs to do. Since this is so big, I can't play it just with my hands alone. I need some help. So I'm going to use this um, which is called a seat strap, and it's just going to go on the bottom and it helps take some of the weight off my hands. And I just sit on it like that. So if I try to play my instrument right now, you don't hear anything. And that's because I need something to vibrate. So I have over here a reed. This is a double reed, um, which is different than the saxophone or the clarinet. And this uh, reed, I can actually play all on its own. And it makes kind of a funny sound. We call that a crow. Sounds a little bit like a bird. So if I put this on my bassoon on the vocal, you'll be able to hear some, some of the sounds. So since the bassoon is so long, if I were to undo it here at the YouTube at the bottom and stretch it all out, it would be about eight feet long. So that's a lot taller than me even. Um, and since it is so long, it can play a pretty big range. Uh, long instruments can play lower sounds. So this is my lowest note. And then I can actually play up um, quite high. So there's the same note way up high. So I'll play for you all the notes in between and maybe even a few extra. So next I'm going to play for you um, one of Miss Newland's favorite pieces. This is called The Sorcerer's Apprentice and it's by a composer named Paul Dukas. Um, you might know this piece if you have ever seen the movie Fantasia because Mickey Mouse um, is busy with some brooms and cleaning and this is the theme that's played when he's doing that job. Um, so the bassoon in this instance gets the main theme, um, so I will play that for you today. <laughs> Thank you. 
So as Ms. Newland said, I'm Dr. Christine Carucci and I work here at Eastern, Eastern Kentucky University. Um, I teach people how to play the bassoon, um, but the other part of my job is that I get to work with people that want to be music teachers, just like Ms. Newland. So um, I get to visit schools just like yours um, and observe them teach and try to help them um, as they learn how to do that well. Thank you, Dr. Carucci. That was wonderful. I love the Sorcerer's Apprentice. That was wonderful. We hope that maybe when all of this is over, maybe you can come to our classroom and see us. That would be a real treat and bring your bassoon. Sounds good. Thank you. All right.